Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. We are out here with Amanda's TJ. It's a 97 TJ, and she had a power steering reservoir that had a crack in it. And in a previous video, I'll link it up here, we tried to repair it. And the reason why we tried to repair it is because we couldn't find one for this model that was made in the aftermarket or reproduction or replacement or anything like that. Nobody makes it. We did find some used ones on eBay and some other sites, and they were anywhere from $100 to $200 for a used one. So we tried plastic welding with a plastic welding kit, and it seemed to hold for a couple weeks. Then it eventually started uh, slowly leaking again, and now it's leaking. So what I did was I got a, another Jeep one. This is for a, a later model. I think it's a couple years later. And it's a, a very basic power steering reservoir with a Gazenta and a Gazetta, and it just mounts differently and I think that's really the only difference in everything is just the mounting so we're gonna we're gonna rig something to mount it and we're gonna see if we can get this one in her Jeep to get her going down the road all right so you can see right here her power steering reservoir it sort of clips on the radiator support and if you take this little tab ooh, it's greasy All covered in power steering fluid, but if you take this plastic tab and sort of move it out of the way, this will slide up and off of a mold that's in the in the radiator support, and that's why this one's different, is because it slides on there. And all her things are leaking down there, so this is where we made our plastic repair that didn't hold. So we're going to pull this thing off. And we are going to try to do something different here. Um, we're going to try to put that other one on and see if we could mount it up. All right, so we have to get in the two hoses off the bottom. It's just making its way through all the plastic that we added. We added some mesh in there, some steel mesh reinforcement, and some plastic for a, a little hole that was maybe it was a couple of millimeters you know wide but it's just not not making it uh, oil tight it's not under any pressure in the reservoir itself really but it's just not doing what we had anticipated it was going to do so now we got this other one and the only issue with this one is going to be mounting so we're going to have to rig some way to to mount it here um, but once we get it plumbed in then we can figure out how we're going to mount it what I'm thinking is potentially a um, just drill a little hole in the in the right in the fan shroud and maybe a zip tie or something like that it just needs to sit for the most part level like this the cap I didn't think of it doesn't come with a cap I don't know if this cap is going to fit we might have to get a new cap yeah, this is a different cap. Definitely a different cap. So this cap's not going to fit. So we're going to have to get another cap. This is a different style completely. I guess we'll hook up the hoses, we'll mount it, and then we'll figure out what kind of cap to get. I'll put a link to this um, and what year it's from originally and what cap you need to get to go along with it so that you have everything in one shot. Of course, we don't have everything in one shot. All right, so after I put the hoses on, you know, you, you, you could twist the hoses a little bit to get this to orient. Just the way I put them on by chance, this thing wants to, it wants to sit right there. And it sitting right here, the, you know, the fat hose, one is the return, one is the feed. The, the, the hoses actually fit fine. Um, they're out of the way of everything. They're not going to rub against anything. So I think I'm just going to take this and I'm going to zip tie. You see how this little, this is the overflow for the coolant. If this were to fill up, it overflows out this little tube here. But right in the, in the little crotch, right, that's molded plastic. That's not part of the overflow. I think I could drill a hole right through the center of that, put this here and just put a zip tie and this will hold right there. And it's not going anywhere I mean it's a it's an old fun Jeep to knock around in so this is is going to be more than adequate it's not going to interfere with the 
the radiator overflow hose that goes down into this, it's it'll be fine. It'll absolutely be fine. So all we have to do is get a, a cap for this. So let me go check the interwebs quick and see who's got the cap locally because Amanda just pulled up and being that I'm doing this for her, she could run to one of the uh, local auto parts stores if they have one and grab a cap for it instead of having to order it online. But let's go take a look. All right, so I, I zip tied it right here like I was talking about, that worked out. I filled it about halfway up with fluid, um, and then I started the car up, and I turned the wheel all the way lock to lock, and then back in the middle again. And I'm just trying to bleed out any air. The cap is gonna be an issue, and we'll talk about that once we get the air blood out. All right, so the fluid is moving pretty, uh, pretty violently through there and I believe that's um, part of the normal operation and part of the air working its way out because uh, I used some um, ATF in the power steering and it sort of gets like a little pink when it's aerated and right now it's, it's, uh, it's pretty pink inside of it, less of that you know, red fluid. So I think we're just going to have to work some of the air out. You can see the fluid in there is is definitely aerated, and that's because it's mixing with the air that's in the system. And we're going to have to run it, let it heat up, and um, keep, you know, turn the wheel, go for a ride or something, and, and really let it bleed its way out. But other than that, it should be fine. Um, hopefully, she didn't run it too long when it ran out of fluid, and, you know, it affected the pump negatively or, or whatnot. I don't think so. So... Anyway, this particular reservoir is for a four-cylinder Jeep Cherokee. Um, it's like 87 to, to 1990 on a regular XJ Cherokee. That's the, the, the reservoir. So we need to get a cap for that. Nobody has it available, you know, locally. So we're going to have to order it online. I'll put a link for the cap and the reservoir in the description below if you need to do something like this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take, once we get it all, uh, good where we're gonna ride it. I'm just gonna take this cap. I'm gonna put it on like that and I'm gonna put some duct tape around it um, Just until we're waiting for the other cap, you know a little uh, little redneck engineering and just until we're waiting for the cap to come in, but um Once the cap comes in all we need to do is pop this on and we're done with this one and This is mounted right on here. It's nice. It's out of the way the hoses aren't in the way of anything and it should be fine for her to use you know, like we said, this is the uh, not the reliable everyday transportation. This is the knock around fun car, but it is uh, it is reliable. So once we get the right cap on here, this thing will be uh, will be rock solid. So we got our old reservoir. I think you know one of these days when we have nothing going on, I might grind out all that plastic oil that we put on. <clears throat> Maybe try some Flex Seal, the Flex Glue. That might actually work. I'd be interested to know if the Flex Glue actually worked. So we're gonna put this in the box. We're gonna hold on to it and. If, if a day ever comes where we have nothing going on, we're going to try some some flex glue on that and see how it goes. But anyway, either way, we got Amanda on the road, whether she takes it today or we wait the two or three days that it's going to take for that cap to come in next week. She'll be driving this, and she could use this as her, as her knock-around car, and I think she just wanted to drive it around and have it for the winter um, for when it starts snowing here. But uh, that's it for this video from Axel's Garage. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.